That feels like it, it kind of wrapped Gustav's story up. So is that it? Are we not going back? You know, I guess there's no more to the book. There's no more flashbacks or anything. Um, okay. Well, there you go. And I just put the painting back on the wall, did I? I guess so, and I can't use it again. Can't even inspect it again. So that's that. Now what the fuck do I do? Uh, Dad or... No. Who's this? Hello? Hi, sweetie, it's me. Oh, it's Claire. Hey, what's up? I answered the phone at your desk because the damn thing kept ringing. Uh -huh. Anyways, this guy named Vaclav something was a little hysterical. He said that he heard a scream and some noises coming from his neighbor's apartment. Did he? I figured it might be important or you might know what he was talking about. Yes, I do, thanks. I'll check it out. Oh, did you find anything in the files you were looking to access? Yes, but not as breathtakingly revealing as I'd anticipated. But it's given me a new lead. I think I'm going to L.A. L.A.? Why L.A.? It'd be too long to explain, but I'll fill you in as soon as I get the chance. Before you leave, I hope. I'll try. Anyways, I gotta see what's wrong over at the campus. Okay, sweetie. You be careful. I always am. Bye. Bye. I guess she didn't get the memo that I quit. Although, you know, I've still got the heart of a police officer and an FBI agent, so yeah, the campus again. Screams. That doesn't sound good. Hop to it. Come on. <laughs> the faster the better, Victoria. Go on, go on. Take your time then. Alright, uh, let's see. Campus, there you go. Oh yeah, it's changed. That guy wasn't smoking outside before, so something, something's going on here. Up there. Why the ominous music? Come on. <laughs> I'm not hearing screaming. Is that a good or a bad thing? Is she still with Richard? Oh shit. Mia! Whoa! Is that a syringe? Oh shit. Fuck it up. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Or Richard, I think. Oh dear. In a newer game, this would be a quick time event. Nice. Oh, yes. Brilliant! Yes! Now, quickly, repeatedly kick him in the head. Take the knife. And then kick him in the head some more. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Special Agent Victoria McPherson. I need assistance. Yes, Damn right you do. Please give me the address and location. I'm at the university. I'm. Here we go. Who is it? No. I guess if she doesn't see it, we don't see it either, do we? Back there? Wow. Sucks to be him. So it wasn't Vaclav Kola. That's, uh, it's good to know. Ouch. Oh my god. This is worse than a hangover. Is this really the time to be quipping? <laughs> Mia's not there, which means that she might still be alive. Unlike Mr. Kolar. Kolar didn't make it. Yeah. Hey, that's Mia's purse. Now this might come in handy. Really? Oh, nice. Actually got a gun. Great. Where did he take Mia? Think! The messages he leaves behind. Of course, the paintings! Yeah. Okay. Right. The, well, the paintings. Are we going back to Richard's gallery then? That's what I'm taking from the paintings. 
I guess so. Uh, so how does Vaclav fit into all this? I mean, I don't think there was a painting of a, a guy face down in his apartment with his throat cut. I mean, it was obviously not planned, right? So the killer's kind of breaking his MO, maybe for the first time. Come on, come on, come on, quick, 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 quick. Time is of the essence, right? As you said, Mia might still be alive. Uh, so, here we go, Richard's Gallery. Are we in the right place? I'm certainly hoping so. It's got to be here, right? <laughs> Where's Richard? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I guess I kind of expected him to be missing. Hmm. I can so. use Richard's computer to help me find the possible location. All right, okay. Go on, then. Sure. Uh, search for... What do we... Can we type? No, no, we can't type. Bloody Lombatech. Shit, I don't know. What was all this? There's nothing here. I can drag this up and down? No, I can't. There's nothing here. Uh, quit this. The X doesn't work. And nor does that one. <laughs> what? I don't get this. Uh, I feel like something's meant to be here, but it isn't. So I let's back away. Let's try something else, maybe. Um, yeah, nothing in the bin or anything. Okay, let's let's go back this way. What about that door that was just like I guess the staff area? I still can't go through there. Is Richard around here somewhere? Or the paintings? The paintings are still here, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This one was already copied by the killer. Oh, yeah, okay. It was the fourth victim, Natalie Kenworth. She was found in the sewers. Sewers. Yes. Sewers. Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 hang on. Let, uh, let, let me go back to the computer a minute. Has something changed? Is that what that sewers thing meant? Sewers. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Search for sewers. Searching database for matching results. Quite a few. Yeah, maybe I should try to refine my search by adding some keywords. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, okay, let's back away from that. Um, so what do we got? We got all these paintings around here. Do I have to look at all of them? I suppose I do. Let's be thorough. I know times of the essence and everything, but um, yeah, I, I, I really just like art. Yeah, let's start by going over in this direction, I suppose. Yeah, next up, we got this one. Which one's this? The killer depicted this painting already. Poor Stephanie. Poor Stephanie, indeed. Okay. Right. No words added to this one, because I guess it's been depicted already. Is that why? We're looking for something that hasn't happened yet. At least, not in Chicago, not in 2005. This one? I don't think our killer took a plane ride to Prague. No. No, I don't. Unless he can teleport, I don't think he's, uh, he's that quick. But Prague was added. Okay. What's this one over here? This is a murder portrait, and our killer hasn't used it yet. Right. That's true. Oh, hang on, wait. That must be Frantiska. Ah, yes. The fifth murder victim found under the bridge. Well remembered. I guess she really was paying attention. That must be the Charles Bridge. Right. Oh, oh, I see. okay, and I can examine you that as well. That must be the killer. Yeah, the painter himself. Do we get a word for that? No. Okay, so it really does help to you know specifically look at certain parts of the paintings. So that's cool. Um, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's keep going around. Oh, that one over there. That's that's the Apollina one, isn't it? I think it must be. I recognize the murdered Apollina. Yeah. The killer hasn't used this portrait. Let's see then. She was found at the watermill. Watermill. Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. There's another little keyword to search for. Watermill. This red drape was floating in the water next to her. Red drape? Is that a thing? No. Wait. Yeah. Apollina's eyes were carved out by the killer. Ooh. I hope she was dead at the time. I suppose so. Yeah. Anything else? This red drape yeah, was the red floating drape in again. the water okay. next to her. Watermill. Okay. Are there any watermills in Chicago? Like, there's. Are there sewers? Are there bridges? Let's go to the next one. Which one's this? That's Ackerman's masterpiece. Oh, I know which one this is. He once said to my granddad, I don't think our killer has gone as far in his sick, twisted game yet. No. Anything to examine specifically in this one? 
No, okay? And we don't get any keywords. All right, let's move on to whatever this is. Disturbed Sanctuary. Ah. We've seen this one already. Cynthia Woods, our fifth victim. So I take it we're not going to get any keywords and there's nothing to examine in this painting? Evidently not. No. Okay, all right. Um, this way then? Yep. We're going around and doing the full circle, I suppose. We want to have a look at all of them. So, yeah, this one over here. Another one from the Chicago series. That's probably in the harbor. Right. So, okay, Chicago, yeah. Oh, Chicago and Harbor. Chicago Harbor, yeah, I suppose that's possible. Um, okay, that's it. It couldn't be on a boat or anything like that. That's not a keyword we want to search for. Hmm. I mean, it, it really, if the killer wanted to escape, he could just break his ammo. Like Richard but said, that was Mark's doctor. Doctor? Is that going to help? <laughs> it might, I guess. Uh, this one... Oh, that's like the seductive nurse or something, right? Probably from the mental institute in LA. Mental institution? Okay, that's something else to search for. We've got a lot of keywords. Another one from the LA series. Nothing I can see in it that'd lead me anywhere in Chicago. Mmm, LA, right. Well, she did say that she was going to go to LA at some point, but... Yeah, I have a feeling LA isn't going to be something we search for. There's this one as well. Is that the last one? Have we done the full circle now? I think so. I think this is the last one. And then, yeah, I guess I'll play Amanda with the, the computer again. Right. Maybe Ackerman had someone on the outside. Yeah. That's what I'm going to find out when I go over there. Right. So it is going to happen. Okay. Nothing in this one. Okay, yeah, so we've had a look at all of them pretty thoroughly, I think. Picked up a load of keywords. Let's play around with the computer, see if we can get a, a proper match that isn't, like, in the billions, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe using multiple keywords, right? Let's see. Okay. So... Okay, so these are the arrows up and down. So we've got Bridge, Chicago, Dr. Harbor, Los Angeles, Mental Institution, Watermill, Prague, and Sewers. Okay. So, I guess Chicago is going to be one of them. Uh, do we just search for Chicago? How many how many results are we going to get for this? Loads. Oh, not many, actually. Not as many as sewers. Bloody hell. Uh, okay, well, what about if we put Chicago in sewers? Can we do that? So, hang on. Chicago? Where was sewers? At the top or was it the bottom or something? Right, sewers. And now, somehow, you have more matches, even though... I don't really understand how that works, really, but there you go. Um, <clears throat> sure. So, right, we got the, we got the, right, let's, let's try that, actually. Let's try Chicago and Bridge, and then Chicago and Mental Institution. Okay, we've got 436. I suppose what we're looking for, really, is one match found, or like, I don't know, single digits, I suppose. Something we can actually, you know, get to. Uh, Chicago Harbor? 345. Okay, that's somewhat better. Chicago Mental Institution. How many of those are there? Go on, results. 17. That's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, Watermill. What about Chicago Watermill? No. Okay, so we can scratch the Watermill off. Um, right, so we got Prague. Well, we're not really looking for Prague, are we? Let's see. Can we just do loads of stuff? How much can we do? Okay, it's up to three. But no more than that. So, are we actually looking for three? Maybe so. Let's let's try Chicago Dr. Harbour. <laughs> Anything? Jesus Christ! Ah, uh, okay. Chicago's got to be in it, right? Because that's where we are. Um, but then we're looking at the painting's references. What about if we do the same sort of thing, but instead of Chicago, we do Prague? Fifty-four matches, okay. Prague Sewers? <laughs> There's so many sewers! Unbelievable! Prague Watermill, please. Six matches! Okay. Well, one of them we visited back in the 1920s. Okay, Prague Mental Institution. I don't really know how this is going to help, even if I do find something. 
It's got to involve Chicago, but I'm just kind of playing at the moment. <laughs> Prague and Los Angeles? Is any matches for that? No, no connections whatsoever. Uh, okay. Prague Harbor. Seven matches, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Prague Bridge. Fifty-four, no. Yeah, it was Bridge, Chicago, and then Prague. Hey, hang on, wait, night, what, what? Uh, Chicago Herald, the... The city of Chicago has the privilege of having the largest Czech community in America. This somewhat large community has helped build Chicago from the ground up. The city of Chicago and the Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs have banded together to award a grant to help build a monument to one of the com and commemorate its Czech community for their hard work in helping build one of America's greatest cities. The monument is in fact a bridge. It's going to be a somewhat smaller replica of That's the Charles it. Bridge That's gotta be it. in Prague. Okay. I wonder its main benefactor, Vladana Tomanova. <laughs> Funny that. Uh, okay, that's it, isn't it? I... Are we done? I... Maybe we are. I... It's got to be. So hang on. Uh, back to the four x four, and let's try and use the GPS. I didn't see anything pop up in the top right. Actually, I'm not sure if we did get like a new location or whatever. But I guess we're probably we want to head to that bridge, don't we? Oh, we do. So that's a bridge. I would have thought that would be a harbour, but there you go, Tom and Over Bridge! Oh shit. So how did he get there with the body of Mia? Was he using the sewers again? Is she still alive? Oh shit, here we go. Take the shot. Okay, right. Well, there you go. That was uh, that was still life one, everybody. And you know what? I was expecting an ending like that. I was well. Can you call that an ending? I guess. I, ever since I started this playthrough, people were saying to me, "If you play still life one, you gotta play the sequel as well." And they were right. They were absolutely right because that I don't think was really an ending. That was that was a cliffhanger. That was waiting for a sequel. And I suppose in my situation, that's not such a bad thing because I could just move on to the sequel and wrap the story up and get all the answers, right? But thinking of someone who actually played this game when it was released and maybe had to wait months or years for the sequel, that ending would really frustrate me. It really would. Because we don't have any answers whatsoever. I mean, who, who's the killer? We know the killer back in the 20s and 30s, that was Mark Ackerman, but who's this copycat? Who's... is it a descendant? Is it Richard? Because it really does feel like it should be Richard. He was nowhere to be seen at his gallery. It's kind of odd. He didn't give me a phone call or anything like that. Although, to be honest, I didn't see... I haven't seen Miller in a while. I haven't seen Claire in a while, I suppose. Tate. Wow, imagine if it was Tate. That would really be a twist. Uh, but yeah, that aside, that rather annoying ending aside, I had quite a lot of fun with this game. It was a pretty good point-and-click adventure game. Above average. I would rate it something like 6 out of 10. I enjoyed playing as two protagonists in two different timelines and two different cities and working as a detective and an agent. The police work was actually quite a lot of fun. A uh, rather large variety of puzzles to get on with, uh, some of which I liked, and some of which I didn't like, as I'm sure you know. 
Obviously taking the uh, the top slot was the lock picking puzzle. The cooking one wasn't so bad in retrospect. That just that was a lot of trial and error. It just took a lot of time to work out, but that was that was okay. Lock picking actually didn't make any sense. And I, I recommend if you if you want to sort of if you ever want to feel pure rage, have a pop at that puzzle. Have a shot in the dark at that puzzle. Go in blind if you can. I know you probably just watched the, the playthrough and everything, and you probably remember things about it, but yeah, go in, you know, like in the dark without any knowledge of it, and my god, you will be enlightened. You will discover things about yourself you did not know existed. You will discover your dark side. You will be gritting your teeth and cursing to god knows what, and... Yeah, I don't think I'll ever forget that one. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think it was, it's, it's stuff like that that did kind of detract from my overall experience. But yeah, I still had quite a lot of fun, and yes, I am still going to play the sequel. Uh, when I'm going to do that, I'm not sure, but it's going to be fairly soon, probably in the next couple of months. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, I hope to see you back when I start Still Life 2 fairly soon. For LA. You still think you're gonna find answers over there? You got him, sweetie. It's over. Not for me. Claire, I'm gonna have to let you go. We're gonna rest for a while. Okay, I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. Okay, bye. He said that he heard a scream and some noises coming from his neighbor's apartment. Did he? I Brilliant! Yes! Now, quickly, repeatedly kick him in the head, take the knife, and then kick him in the head some more. <laughs> Where's Richard? Yeah, <laughs> search for sewers! Searching database for matching results! Quite a few! Hey, hang on! Wait, night, what? what? Uh, Chicago Herald?